Hello, I'm a volunteer with microbiome.org and we're looking for stool donors. Something you discard daily can be used to save lives and advance medical research. Top young athletes are some of the only people who qualify though. It's an easy way to make some money and improve and save lives with very little effort. The stool is for fecal microbiota transplants, also known as FMT, or research. There's a short introductory video on microbiome.org and lots more info at humanmicrobiome.info. I'll also include some additional links in the video description. Recently, a Harvard lab was able to collect marathon runner stool and identify a performance enhancing microbe. However, the gut microbiome is an extremely complex ecosystem and thus it will be many decades before we're able to replace whole stool with synthetic versions. The main issue is that since the gut microbiome impacts the entire body, donors have to be in exceptional health with little to no lifetime antimicrobial use. Due to a variety of modern perturbations, our host native microbiomes have been going extinct. This is a climate change level threat, so if you say no, you should understand what you're saying no to. A number of research groups have gone directly to secluded tribes, such as the Hadza, but using them as stool donors isn't currently feasible. So we have to find people in modern society in peak physical and mental health with unperturbed, disease-resistant gut microbiomes. The Microbioma.org project is trying to find the fewer than 1% of people who qualify and connect them with doctors, researchers, and people who need FMT. Due to the difficulty of finding high-quality donors, nearly all the clinical trials, doctors, stool banks, etc. are using low-quality donors. This is both dangerous and ineffective. Many patients are left to find their own donors, which is nearly impossible for most of them. Right now, Microbioma.org is a completely volunteer-based organization. The only people getting paid are the stool donors. If any coaches would be willing to bring this up with their athletes, that would be greatly appreciated. And if you don't qualify, but know someone who might, please pass this on to them. In summary, top young athletes may have stool that can cure a huge variety of diseases, but we can only find out if we get them to sign up to be stool donors for clinical trials. And if they're willing to donate stool for other things along the way, that's great. Thank you.